All right, so the odds are you're aware of the jump cut. The jump cut is very common on YouTube, but you'll almost never see it in film or television. And the reason it's common on YouTube, I think it's probably because YouTube videos are less prepared and less scripted. So there's a lot more stuff that's recorded that you could probably cut out. And that's where the jump cut comes in. And I don't have a problem with jump cuts. I like to use jump cuts because it's a way to make your video much more efficient and to get rid of a lot of the stuff that's not needed and just cut straight to the important stuff. So I like to use jump cutting in my videos. Jump cutting for me has turned 15 minute videos into five minute videos or less because you just eliminate all that stuff that's not needed. But when you're talking about the look of your video, the jump cut can be a little jarring because whereas you're not gonna really notice a big jump in the sound or a change in the sound, but as far as the visual goes, you're gonna notice an obvious jump or a jerk in what you're looking at because for a jump cut, most of the time what we're talking about is a camera that's locked in the same position but in editing, you jump ahead a few seconds or to whatever place, so most likely the subject will have moved. But you didn't see that move, you just see them now in the new position. But I just learned about a transition in Premiere Pro that can eliminate that jarring visual, and it's called the Morph Cut. I've been using Premiere Pro a lot for the last two years and I've never heard of this. And to be upfront, I will probably not ever use this, but I just thought it was really cool. If for some reason you want to hide a jump cut, this can be a really effective tool. So the way that it works is you just grab this transition and drag it to your timeline over where you want that transition to take place. And it basically merges or creates a blend of the ends of each of those clips that it's transitioning so that it basically creates a visual for that move that you wouldn't have seen happen in a typical jump cut. Now this only really works if the ends of the two clips are similar enough that Premiere Pro doesn't have to really do anything too crazy or drastic. But most of the time with jump cuts, they're taking place, like I said, in a situation where the camera's locked in place and the subject is in the same position in front of that camera. So most of the time, that morph cut won't have a whole lot of work to do because the subject will be relatively in the same position and the camera's looking at the same environment from the same perspective. And like I said, this is probably not something I'm gonna go to the trouble to use most of the time. I was just impressed with its capability. With videos on YouTube, in my opinion, People aren't usually looking for them to be seamless or perfect. People are used to jump cutting and they're really just interested in getting the information or the entertainment that they were expecting from that video. Now obviously if the jump cutting is going crazy, like you're cutting every single word and really not getting very far in each sentence before cutting, then that probably could get annoying and might deter someone from finishing your video. But most of the time that's not what's going on with jump cutting. It's just intermittent and cutting out spaces or unnecessary content to make the video more efficient, which I'm fine with. Now where the morph cut can make a lot of sense in my mind is with something like special effects when you're creating a cut in a video, like with the Zach King videos, he's creating a cut in between the same scene, but he's bringing in different objects and creating these special effects. So whereas you want your subject to be exactly in the same position and not look like they have moved, but you magically bring in this other object or change something in the scene, morph cutting could potentially help out there. Because in special effects with video, you're looking for the tiniest little indication that will clue you into what happened as far as how they did it or what made the effect possible. So if you right, I think the morph cut could be the trick to bridging the gap and having a perfect transition in some of those special effect type videos. I haven't tried it, but it's an idea. Anyway, just want to do a quick little video on my new discovery there with the morph cut inside Premiere Pro. So that's how you can, if you want, create invisible jump cuts. Hopefully that's helpful.